Now, every empire has rationalized its imperial ways um, by through, through idealistic uh, uh, ra rationalizations. Um, the British had white man's burden. The French had la mission sur la surprise. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the Soviets, of course, you know, had international socialism. Um, the uh, the United, uh, United States, of course, has been in the name of freedom and democracy. And, and unfortunately, uh, the United States has done for freedom and democracy what the Soviet Union did for socialism. Uh, it, it, it is, um, I, when you think of some of the worst atrocities in American history, it's been often in the name of, of, of supporting you know, freedom and democracy. In my lifetime, you know, it was the, the Vietnam War, uh, invasions of Dominican Republic, uh, of, of, of Grenada, of Panama, the uh, support of the murderous Junta in, in El, El Salvador for the contra terrorists in, in Nicaragua. And, and Bush and, and his supporters uh, brought this to uh, new heights, or should I say depths, uh, in rationalizing for the uh, invasion uh, of Iraq on grounds of advancing free and democracy, followed, of course, by his uh, Greater Middle East Initiative. Uh, and he, he, he talked about spreading uh, uh, democracy from Damascus to Tehran. And I think we can all agree that both Syria and Iran could, could use more democracy, but it's interesting how he didn't talk about spreading a, a democracy from Riyadh to Cairo. Uh, indeed, the, United, the U.S. support for autocratic regimes in the greater Middle East and beyond uh, has, has never been higher uh, than under the uh, uh, Bush uh, administration. But what struck me was when the Greater Middle East Initiative was announced a little over five years ago, I got all these calls from the media, do you support President Bush's uh, uh, a new policy to promote democracy in the Middle East? Like, yes or no? Uh, and, and, and corporate media usually doesn't like people to say, that's not the question. <laughs> but, but it was amazing. I, I remember hearing a, a debate on, on NPR about his policy, and it was between a neocon defending Bush's policy, uh, saying we, you know, def defending uh, you know, Bush's policy in the Middle East of su supporting democracy, and uh, a traditional realpolitik saying no, we shouldn't, uh, you know, we, we should support di dictatorships as stable allies. Again, that was the choice that uh, we were uh, that we were uh, being being given. And my concern is that so far it looks like Obama is returning to the status quo ante. You know, back to the uh, to the the, the whole uh, so-called realist uh, you know, paradigm um, of uh, you know, the, and you know, just recently, uh, you know, despite pleas, for example, by uh, Amnesty International to suspend military aid to Israel following the, the war crimes in Gaza, he's he's reiterated his, um, his his call to to actually increase uh, military aid to to that that country. No signs of any shifts involving uh, Colombia or, or Egypt or or the Saudis or any number of other um, uh, repressive uh, governments uh, supported by, by, by the United States. Um, but, but in any case, the, if we're really interested in, in freedom and democracy, uh, we, we should uh, you know, see how it's actually uh, you know, been advanced. And it's not, uh, you know, if you look at the seven new nations that have gone from uh, dictatorships to varying degrees of democracy in, in uh, the past 20, 30 years, only a handful were from uh, elite-driven reforms from above, only a few from armed struggle, uh, virtually none from foreign invasion. The overwhelming majority were through democratic civil society organizations engaged in strategic nonviolent action. Uh, the Soviet uh, empire was not brought down by NATO. It was brought down by Polish dock workers, uh, East German church people, uh, millions of ordinary Eastern Europeans. And, and similarly, the massive amounts of U.S. military aid to Marcos in the Philippines, the Shah of Iran, Pinochet in, in, in Chile, Saharto in Indonesia, could not keep these dictators in power when met by hundreds of thousands of people on the streets demanding their freedom and democracy.